What is up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Test It Tuesday. You guys know the drill, every Tuesday we test out a product and I let you guys know the good, the bad and the ugly. So last week we didn't have an episode but we are back and I apologize for that. Today we have something very interesting that was sent out to me and it's actually on Kickstarter now so you can't technically buy it right now but I'm testing it out. So I love these episodes because now people are sending me products that are on Kickstarter which I love. So check this out, you guys know or probably know what this is. This is the charging brick that comes with the newer MacBook Pros. It's got a USB type C and its job or its purpose is to recharge your laptop. That's all it does. And the sad part about it is that it's so big and bulky and when you travel, you have to take this guy and it doesn't add any functionality. You still have to take dongles. You have to take other accessories to make it work with other stuff. Whew. Anyway, so this company sent this out and what this does is you slide your existing brick in here and then what this has is a male USB type C that slides into your female USB type C port. And what it does is it adds functionality. So now you have three USB ports and also a USB type C that you can also use as a docking station. So you can plug in, for example, SD cards. If you have one of these guys over here, you can recharge your phone, you can do other things. The benefit about this is that you don't have to just carry this anymore, you carry this together because it slides in. Let me show you how this works. So it has this little, I don't know what you wanna call this, like a little clip that kind of secures everything into place. And then all we do is we make sure where the little USB type C port is, we align it with that and then we slide this in. Here it click, basically done. And that's basically it once you attach this little pin there it is. So essentially all you need to do is take this and then you have all of this functionality. Now I will say this and you'll see it right here. This is the beta version. Keep that in mind. I have ran into some issues. I want to let you guys know because this is tested Tuesday, but I will say it's beta. So for take it for what it's worth. Obviously I hope that the final version doesn't have any issues. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So well, let's go ahead and plug this in. You have the MacBook Pro here, so I could charge it or recharge it. So let's see if it works. And it does it. This is exactly what I was talking about. So this is a beta version. So I have to kind of finagle it, maybe take it in and out. So let's just stop right now. Let me get it working and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I finally got it to work. Like I said, you gotta kind of wiggle it around, but I'll show you guys that it does work. You'll hear the sound. There it goes. So now it's charging, it's working. And then what I'm gonna do now is, you know, I just shot some videos and I wanna, you know, put these into my computer. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And you see it reading it. And you should see it here very soon. There it is, EOS Digital. So I have all my files, I can transfer this to my computer. So not only is it charging my MacBook Pro, I can also dump all my new movies that I just shot right now. And then let's say I need to recharge my Google Pixel. So let's go ahead and just plug this guy in over here. And then I have my Google Pixel right over here. Oh, where is it? There it is. And then it should, char should start charging. There it is. Google Pixel's charging. Okay, one more thing. We have the iPhone. Actually, let's leave this here. We got the iPhone over here. Let's uh, recharge. This guy, there it is. Now this is a short cable, so I'm gonna have to hold it here. And it's charging. So I'm charging the MacBook, I'm charging an iPhone, I'm charging a Google Pixel, and I'm also transferring files. So when it works, it works. So here's the deal. So they also sent me the 15 inch version. Let me just get this out of the way. So they also sent me the 15 inch version, which also has an HDMI port. So I figured I would just unbox this live here. Well, not really live, because this was pre-recorded, but I will do it here so you guys can see what comes inside the box. So like I said, this is the beta version. So there might be a couple of hiccups. The other thing too that I noticed is that the inside here, when I keep sliding it in and out, it's scratching my charger. So for what it's worth, again, I wanna let you guys know these types of things. So hopefully this is feedback for them too because they might make it a little bit better. So this is the HD 15. So you get a little bit of a, I guess like a quick start guide. 
Shows you everything here. We're not really gonna go over this, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what you get in the box. And then here is the big bad boy. So this is for the 15 inch version MacBook Pro. You get three USB 3.0s and then you get an HDMI. So this is kind of cool because you can mirror the image. So for example, you guys know the HDMI port for the MacBook is very expensive. I don't remember, but I think it's like 60 or $80. So with this, you don't need to go out and buy it. So I love the concept. I think it's a great idea. Uh, again, the because this is a beta version and these little issues, my only concern is if the final production is gonna have these little hiccups where sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, and that's kind of been my testing. When I go out traveling, I've tested it out, I have to kind of finagle it and make it work. I just don't know why they just didn't make this as an independent charger. Like, why do I have to slide my existing MacBook Pro charger into here? I think if this would have been like a dedicated charger with a hub, I guess, that would have been probably better. I, I don't know if maybe there's a licensing issue or a patent or something like that, that that doesn't allow them to do that, but I would have rather seen this more integrated by itself than having to slide in, just because I can see issues possibly in the future with maybe this little USB type C port, or the, the, not the port, but the actual adapter maybe breaking or something like that. That's my only concern with this. And obviously the sliding, the actual charger scratches it. So maybe that's gonna be fixed in the final production unit. I don't know, but as of right now, those are the concerns that I have to tell you guys because there are concerns for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And remember next week, Tesla Tuesday. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Until next time, adios.